Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome to that's that's not my neighbor. This game, you play as a doorman, and you you have no other options. This is your only job. You take the job as a doorman, and so you have to accept or deny people coming in and out of the hotel, the apartment. I don't know, but there is an increase of doppelgangers in the area. And so the company that you work for has you making sure that these people are who they say they are. So it's like a papers please gone wrong kind of situation. This shit's been floating around for a little bit. Everybody seems to be super hyped about this game. And so am I. So without further ado, let's hop right into this shit. Okay, so at the moment, it looks like there's only an arcade mode. The game, I got it off of Itch.io, so the game is still in development. I don't know if it'll ever come to Steam or if it's going to have like a full release. But at the moment, we only have Arcade. All right, let's get it. The following short film is a production of DDD with educational finds. Hello, if you're watching this film, it's because you're the new doorman in our in your building. Your job is to determine whether the person who wants to enter the building is a doppelganger. As everyone knows, doppelgangers have the ability to transform into another person and impersonate them. But some are not too good at it and could generate imperfections. I'm fucking with this music. You have to pay close attention to the appearance of your neighbors. Also, remember to fill out the checklist for each neighbor. You can't miss any detail because it could mean death for you and your neighbors. This is the structure of your office. Now we are going to explain how it works. Here is the security window. Don't forget to observe very well each individual who approaches. On the right, you have the folders with all the data of each neighbor according to the respective floor. To fill out the checklist, take one of the lists in front of you. Receive documents from this hatch. I'm trying to retain this information while still doing the like the old timey voice. If you determine that the individual isn't a doppelganger, then allow them into the building with these buttons. Otherwise, if you determine that it is in fact a doppelganger, press the emergency button and call 3312. To communicate with the DDD or any apartment in your building, use the telephone in front of you. Seems pretty simple, like I... Your job is really important, so make sure you do it right. You'd want to do it right no matter what your job was, to be honest. Finally, we congratulate the doorman of the month, Henry. Is that me? Am I Henry? It wasn't that he did an excellent job, but he was the only doorman in the area who didn't get killed by doppelgangers. Be like Henry. <laughs> but better. Hey, I think Henry did his job. Y'all need to stop sleeping on my man Henry. I don't know how long he worked here, but like... Okay. Simple enough. Welcome and congratulations on your new job. As you can see, the introductory film, your job is to verify the entry of neighbors of your building. Each day there will be a list of individuals who request entry to the building. It is possible that there is an individual who requests entry and aren't on the list. In which case, you will mark on the checklist that they are not on the list and proceed to question the individual. Got it. Also, you must verify that the ID and entry request are correct and have the respective DDD logo. Don't forget to also check the expiration date on the IDs, month, year. Remember, it's February 1955. I wish you good luck. I'm going to fail this shit right away. I'm not even going to lie to you. I've never actually played Papers, Please, um, but I, I get the gist of it. Hi! Mm, hi, or whatever. Okay, so right off the bat, that's Anastasia Michaela's February 2nd, or February 
04? Is that how that works? FO2, 04. All right, let me see your papers. 1985. That didn't seem right. That's, that's already not right. Ma'am, get out of here. Did I do that right? Oh, uh, three, three. What was the number again? Fuck. Oh, three, it's on the wall. Three, three, one, two. You have contacted the DDD. A group of agents has been sent to your building. Please wait for the cleaning protocol to run. I hope I did that right. Her ID said 1985 and it's 1955. Cleaning protocol completed. You can continue your job. Okay. Cool. That was easy. First floor. Okay. Hello. 1969. You don't belong here. It's 1955. How the hell do you have? Oh. Oh. This is the expiration. Uh-oh. Okay. I probably fucked that up then. Uh-oh. All right. Louis Stilinski. Stilinski. Uh, god damn it. You don't have... Fuck! I messed up. I messed up already. Oh, I messed up. Uh... Am I on a time limit or anything? Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, I messed up already. Ma'am, you don't appear to be Stolinsky. ID number 8945. All right, you look all right. You look good to me. Uh, oh, oh. Check each option on the list of mark as appropriate. Oh no, I'm fucking up. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, you're supposed to. I'm fucking up! Oh no. Good afternoon. Alright, Alf ca Cappuccino. Alf Cappuccino 40304. You know, he's a lawyer. Appearance is a big nose. Prominent mustache. Uses a monocle, wear a hat, round face. Monocle, prominent mustache, big nose, round face. All right. Uh, entry request. Oh, she didn't have an entry. Fuck! Ah, I'm messing up. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a lawyer. Okay. Damn it. You're good. That's okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Because what happened was I didn't lock the door the last time and that one lady just ran right past while I was checking the list. Good afternoon. Arnold Schmidt, 1971. Arnold Schmidt, Arnold Schmidt. Buddy, I don't mean to be racist, but um, I don't think you're on here. Arnold Schmidt. Arnold Schmidt, yeah, you ain't on here, buddy. Yeah, I'm sorry, sir, but you... But he's got the... FO201. Oh, he is on here. Okay. Big eyebrows, prominent mustache, wears a hat, round face, short hair. Wears a hat. Okay. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're not him. You're not him. Uh, uh... Uh, you're not him! One, two. He didn't have the big mustache. He had a curly one. We don't let people... <laughs> we don't let people with curly mustaches in. Cleaning protocol completed. I definitely fucked up on the, the first girl, though. You can continue your job. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh... Oh. oh, you already don't look right. Yeah, yeah. Isaac Goss. I don't really need to go over the protocol to know that you 
Is there a way I can flip through this list? This is a list of people that are in this apartment, right? He's not on that list. But then I go, let me see, I check here, FO202. And he is on the list. I mean, obviously he doesn't look like this, but. Three, three, one, two. Get the fuck out of here, buddy. You don't belong here. Okay, this is easy. This is easy. I don't see this getting any harder. I got this. <laughs> Next! You're not, you're not my guy. FO201, right? Yeah, you're not my guy. I don't want to have to keep doing this. I don't want to have to keep letting you guys just waltz right in here thinking that you can be whoever you want to be. I know they say dream big and be be the kind of person that you want to be, but not in my apartment building. No, sir, Reba. Should I be? I should be filling this out, right? I feel like I should be filling this out. Oh, this is today's list of people. Oh, okay. All right, so you, Albertski Peachman, are not on today's list. Should I be filling this out? Not on today's list. Question the individual. Uh, it does not have an entry request. You see, does your appearance match? I don't even know what building you're supposed to be in. You don't have an entry request. Albertski has a mustache, prominent chin, big nose, big eyebrows, long face. I mean, he fits the appearance, I think. He does have an ID. So question him. I'm sorry, yes, I forgot to show my entry request. Uh-huh. I'm not on today's list because I have to leave due to an emergency at work. Uh-huh. Oh, he's got his request here. I'm resident of the building. I come in my job as a shoemaker. Shoemaker. Okay. All right. It fits. It fits. It fits. He's not on today's list. 1974. All right, man. You're good. <laughs> Next! Man, this job is easy. All right, what do we got here? Hello! Yeah, you... You ain't looking right. Uh, Celine Schwitz? Not even on today's list. Pop. She has her entry request and an ID. She does not fit the appearance, though. FO-104. FO-104. Why are there two of you? Oh, you guys must be twins. Oh! Oh! Okay, well that's gonna suck when the time gets around to it. Appearance, mole on right cheek. She has a mole on her right cheek. Small pointed nose. I think she's got one of those. She has a twin, long neck. Okay, but it's like her eyes. Her eyes are what's throwing me off. So I'm gonna say her appearance does not match. My eyes? They are normal human eyes. No, they're not. I don't see any problem with them. Am I not on today's list? Nope. There must be a mistake. I should be on the list. Not on the list. Look at the list again. I'm looking. I'm looking. You ain't on the list. Get out of here. With your lies. Be gone with you. Don't call the DDD if there's no emergency in progress. What? Oh, fuck. I knew I was missing a step. Something fell off. Next! Okay, let's take a look at you. 1975. All right, that expiration date is good. Marguerite Bubbles. Are you on my list, Marguerite? You are on my list. FO203. 203. Curly hair. Oh, there's something about those eyes though. Deviated left eye. Hmm. Oh, okay. All right. All right. She's got that. She got that. She got that. Big smile. All right. We got that. Brown nose. Curly hair. Big smile. All right. I live on the third apartment. 
I live in the third apartment on the second floor. Is this true? Oh, FO203. What do you do for work? Seamstress? All right. Uh, her ID, her appearance matches, is on today's list. Complete check. Perfect. Okay. I definitely haven't been filling out any checklists up until now, so I'm I'm severely fucked. Robert Peachman is not on my list, but he's got all the proper ID. Oh wait, hold on. Expiration date. 1973. All right, we're good on that. F0102. I'm a resident of the building. My apartment is two on the first floor. This is shoemaker, long neck, without eyebrows. Where are your eyebrows at, chief? Big nose, has a goatee. All right. He has his ID. He fits the description, but he's not on today's list. Am I not on today's list? No, you're not! I think there's an error. I should be on the list. Do we not let people in who aren't on the list? Look at the list again. But you're not. Like, you fit the description and everything. I'm sorry, dude, but I can't... I can't let you... Ah, uh, but he looks... He fits the description. He's our guy. ID number 1141. Okay. Go through? I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Good afternoon. You don't have your ID. You're also not on my list. McCooley. McCooley Rudd Boys. Not on my list. You don't have your ID, but does your appearance match? I don't even know what apartment you live in. Please tell me he's not even a resident. Okay, he is. All right, retired, has a mustache, big nose, has a goatee, smokes, always wears a hat. He's not wearing a hat. His appearance doesn't match. What are you doing here? I'm resident of the... Uh, okay. I'm sorry, yes, I forgot to show my ID. Uh-huh, okay. What's wrong with my appearance? You're not wearing a hat, Big G. Look carefully at my photos. And my papers and compare them. I'm not on today's list well, because I had to leave due to an emergency. 1958. Your expiration date's coming up soon, buddy. Buddy! I can't. I can't let you. Always wears a hat, but his picture doesn't even have a hat. He's not wearing a hat. You can't tell me that he's always wearing a hat if his picture doesn't even have a hat. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry! Can't help you. You gotta go. You don't fit the appearance. And they put it in bold letters too. He always wears a hat. I saw you already. You are still not on today's list. I'm a resident of Shoemaker, Vertsky Peachman. Got his entry request, no ID. Not on today's list. IPhone 102. Shoemaker has a mustache. Big eyebrows, long face. Big eyebrows, long face, has a mustache. Big nose, prominent chin. All right, your appearance matches, but you're not on the list and you don't have your ID. I'm sorry, yes, I've got my ID. Okay. I'm looking at the list. You guys can't keep telling me to check the list again. If you're not on the list, I have looked at it. There's only nine people on this list. And you're not one of them, buddy. Okay, I don't know when the day is supposed to end, but I'm going to let people in. If their appearance matches and they have their ID. No. No, because it would say complete checklist. I cannot let you in. I shouldn't be letting people in if they are not on the list. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. Ooh. Good afternoon. 
Steven Rudd Boys, you are indeed on the list. Steven Rudd Boys, 296, okay, all right. He's got his ID. Uh, he is on today's list, but he doesn't have his entry request. Does your appearance match? Big nose, wears glasses, short hair, small head. Short hair, he knows. Okay. You do fit the appearance. Ah, yes, I forgot. Okay. FL 303, I'm a resident of this building. I come from a job as a pilot. Okay. All right. I can let you through. So is everything in order? Everything is in order. Get going, Buster. <sighs> Easiest job of my life. Next! Let's get a shotty. Gloria Schmidt. 1974. Gloria Schmidt. FL201. Alright, so off bat. She has her ID. Does not have an entry request. She is on today's list. Let's see if she matches the appearance. Round face, small on right cheek, short hair, round nose. She is a banker. Small on right cheek, round face, small nose. Wait, small nose. Oh, round nose. Okay. I don't know where I got small nose from. You do match the appearance. We got FO201. I'm a resident of the building. I come from a banker. Okay. All right. All right. With everything in order. Go ahead, shoddy. Go get that money, banker. So it's probably best to keep all my files down here. Who the fuck are you? Mia Stone. 1978. Mia Stone, FL301. Mia Stone, long hair, small round nose. She has freckles, oval face, thin eyebrows. Oval face, thin eyebrows. Has freckles, long hair. All right, you fit my appearance. Uh, she's got her ID, and you're good. Yeah, you're good. I'm getting the hang of it. I'm understanding. When does the day end? Louis Stilinski. Ah, uh, nah. I can't let you through. The shape of my head? <coughs> What's weird about it? It's square. You look like you just came straight from Minecraft. It's the same as Luisa said. I mean, it's the same as... Get out of here! You think you're so funny, but I can see right through your deception. Whew. Now that that weirdo's gone, I can go about my day. What the fuck is that? Ever dream this clown? Every night, all over the world, hundreds of people see this clown in their dreams. If the clown appears in your dreams, don't play any game with him. If you want more information... Oh. Buddy, listen. I told you, you're not on the list. Dude. Robert Peachman. I'm sorry, but you're not on the list. Not on today's list because I had to leave due to an emergency at work. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! I feel bad. I'll let the DDD question you. I probably shouldn't do that. I still feel really bad about that first girl. <laughs> she was probably, she was on the list too. That's the crazy part. Angus Cap Capriano. Cap Capriano. It's not even your name. Oh, it is. Oh, you fit the description. F1103. Wears a hat, long neck, has a mustache, small eyes. He has his ID, he fits his appearance. He is on today's list, but he doesn't have his entry. Got. Uh, all right, Angus. All right, Angus. Get going. Now, at what point does the day end? Is it just, is it this the whole time? Hello. You don't have anything. What's the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else? Love. That's incorrect. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Okay. Got it. I mean, the meaning of life is subjective, so you can't necessarily tell me what I... 
Uh, uh. Nacha Michaelis. Nacha Michaelis. Okay. FO201. FO201. Oh, FO204. Nacha Michaelis. Right eye blue, left eye green, curly hair. She has freckles, round face. Left eye blue. Right eye blue. Okay. I gotta pay attention to that. That's freckles, curly hair. ID. She's on today's list. Let me just double check. 1973. I'm a resident. I come from a job as a chef. Is this true? He is a chef. Hey, can you cook me something? You made me a dinner if I let you through. Let me stop. Perfect. Keep going, girl. Whoa. Okay. I deserve that. I definitely doppelgangers captured. Neighbors killed. Doppels you allowed in. I let one in? Dude! Ah. Ah. Okay, so I think the one neighbor that was killed... That's crazy. Okay, alright. I want to play again to see if I can, like, not let any doppels in. Get no neighbors killed. I want to see if I can, like, live. We're gonna play that again. That was fun. I get it now, so we can do it again. Let's see who's on today's list. Oh, there's only six people on today's list. Alf Cappuccino. You're my first guy. FO304. Big nose, prominent mustache. Uses a monocle. Wears a hat, round face. Alright, he is on today's list. He has an entry request, his appearance, eh, but he doesn't have the... Perfect! Buddy, I'm gonna have to let you through. Get on in there! Sorry, but you're not on my list. Rafflin, FO304. I'm not even gonna let you in because you're not on the list. Should I be? Should I be letting them in? Entry request. To be not on the list. But let me just check. Long face, big nose, straight hair, wears a headband. Wearing a headband, long face, straight nose. Appearance matches. Am I not on today's list? There must be a mistake. I should be on the list. <laughs> but you're not. Look at the list again. But I did. And you're not. So my question is, for anybody who has seen anybody else play this, right? I mean, let me know down in the comments, obviously, but if they are not on the list, but everything else matches, do I let them in? Should I let them in? Is that is that part of, like, should I hit the danger button? I don't, what is the protocol for that? If they're not on the list, but their appearance matches, and they have their ID, they have everything that they need, Just to play it safe. I'm not. I'm not taking any chances this time. I feel bad though. She was just an honest woman trying to live her life. I was like, nah, I get that shit out of here, Chief. Celine Schwitz. Already off rip. You look like you belong here. Celine Schwitz. I'm a resident of the building. I a job as a model. I do know this because she has a twin. FO 104. Four, small pointed nose, slim, long neck. She has a twin. Long neck, slim, something, 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 something. Uh, you don't have your ID. Your appearance matches. You are on the list. Yeah. Okay. Uh, show me that ID. Where's my ID? All right. You ready to go through? I'll be doing that to you too. Mm -hmm. 
Uh... <laughs> Nothing else to say? Nothing? No? Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. I mean, I don't know what it is about you. You just, you're really not fitting the bill. You're not. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was about him. He just, he didn't seem right. I just wasn't taking my chances. But he had too many holes. We start putting things in our holes. What is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else? I don't, I don't know what your answer is is i don't know what you want from me does it have something to do with this uh peace he looks like a hippie that's incorrect ah! milkman francis moses okay francis moses works as a milkman i mean the hat kind of gives it away so that's fo302 francis moses 1964. they said fo302 right Long nose, thin chin, tired eyes, short hair, where's a hat? Go ahead. He very much did fit the description. All right, who are you? Mia Stone? Mia Stone is on the list. FO301. She's got everything she needs. 301. Long hair, small round nose. She has freckles, oval, thin. Get in there! Yeah, yeah, get in there! Yeah, yeah! Oh, why is my... Why is it freaking out? Stop doing that. Afternoon. Mia, stop. I literally just let you through. Mmm. Job as a teacher. Oh boy, did I fuck up? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What did she say she had a job as? What did the last Mia Stone say? Fuck! No! I messed up, didn't I? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All right, I know you're on my list. I've seen you, Gloria Schmidt, FO201. There's a banker, round face, mole on the right cheek, short hair, round nose. Oh no. That was a banker. Oh no. I already don't trust you. Roman Slinsky. You're not on the list, so it doesn't even really matter. You're not on the list. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, what? Oh, it was the Mia Stone. Fuck, I knew it. I knew I let... Uh... I knew something was wrong when the second Mia Stone walked up. Damn it. And I got a B? How? How did I do worse than I did the first time? Achievements. Get an S rank on one playthrough, kill one neighbor, be murdered, capture a hundred doppelgangers? How do you do that? Finish one playthrough alive, survive without opening any folders, complete Chester's quiz, Meet the clown, survive 40 playthroughs, get an F rank on one playthrough, complete 100 playthroughs, catch a doppelganger red-handed. How? How do you do that? Discover the secret of the universe. Meet the peach doppelganger. Unlock all. Wow. Okay. That's not happening. I do want to get that S rank and I do want to survive. It's possible because it's... <laughs> If I hadn't let the first Mia Stone in, I would have survived. I only let one doppelganger in. So it's possible. I can I can do it. Watch me. From now on, anybody who's not on the list is not getting in. I need to pay attention to all job descriptions and all appearances. If you're not even on the list, you don't even get a chance. I'm not looking at any of your information. 
Angus is on the list. Let me grab all my file folders. 1968. You're clear on that. F0103. Businessman. Long neck. Wears a hat. Has a mustache. Small eyes. He is wearing a hat. Okay. All right. I'm going to get it right this time. Raffling on my list. All right. So we got 40304. Raffling. She is a housewife. Long hair or long face. Big nose. Straight hair. Where's the headband? Headband. Big nose. Long face. Straight hair. Headband. All right, you're checking out. You got the appearance ID entry. You are on the list, but let me just take a look at that expiration date. 1962. Hmm. Capuchin, Capuchin. Okay, that is your last name. All right. You're good. You're good. Don't make me regret that. Oh, here we go again. Um, what? What is the meaning of life? The achievement is called Open Mind. So. What could it be? What could it be? It's probably gonna be something stupid. I don't know, man. Clown. I know, it's incorrect. I have no idea what you want from me. Goodbye. Please don't come back. Oh, look, it's you again. <laughs> I'm sorry about earlier, you know, it's just uh, sometimes when you're new on the job, you don't exactly know how things work and you're like, oh, who do I trust? Do I let you in? Do I let so-and-so in? I mean, your student tired eyes pull two ponytails. I was about to say pointy ponytails. Small nose, round face. He definitely does fit the description. You got those tired eyes. All you do is go to school for eight hours. How are you tired? You're, did did y'all's parents ever hit you with that? Did anybody's parents ever hit you with the, you, you go to school, you only go to school. How are you tired? Like, shut the fuck up. You got your ID. Parents entry, she's in why does the game keep spazzing out like this it'll like go smooth for a bit and then it'll jitter I'm not doing that okay you look normal I have seen what you look like 1973 are you guys related by any chance got the same last name she's a chef I do remember that oh you are related you live in the same apartment phone number what happens if I call these phone numbers 1346 mm, hello Anastasia here Anastasia my mother is not at home whatever okay all right, um, I'm gonna say you fit the bill. Get going. Just cause your daughter confirmed that you are not at home. Albertski, not on my list, get going. Ooh, wait, hold on, I can call the apartment number. Hello, Robertski Peachman. My brother is not at home. Okay. All right. So I think that despite them not being on the list, we can question them and figure out why they're not on the list. But if they're not on the list and we call their um, apartment number, somebody does pick up and confirms that they are not home, we should be good to let them through. 
He's a shoemaker. I'm gonna let you through. No, no. Fuck! I'm gonna let you through. Do not make me regret it. I regret it already. I've been letting so many people. Hello, good day. You just don't have anything for me. All right, here's my, okay. All right. All right. 1962. Uh, I went out to visit my parents. Okay. F -O She's a housewife. Wait, I think I let you in already. Or was that the last playthrough? Where's a headband? Great hair, big nose. Four two five eight. Alf speaking. My wife and I are in my apartment right now. We are not expecting any visitors today. That's good. That's good. So then I know not to let you in. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. That's good. Get out of here! Lying ass bitch! Okay, so I'm starting to understand the importance of being able to call the numbers. In like my last playthrough of the game, my last run. Because if I die, if I don't get the survive achievement, I'm not doing this again. Milkman! Francis. You're looking spiffy today. 1964. Works as a milkman. 40302. Or F-O-3-O. Okay. He lives by himself, so if he doesn't answer, then I know that it's you. Alright. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Peach, peach. What? <laughs> Buddy, you, uh... Peach, 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 peach. I'm not even gonna get out of here. Okay, well, I got the peach achievement. So if I don't get anything else, at least I finished off strong with another achievement. <sighs> oh, how? How? Okay, that, that is, what is this game called? All right, for that, that is all for That's Not My Neighbor. I actually enjoyed this game. I want to see a full release of this. I want to see there more, like, I want to see more that you can do. I want a full release. I want more game modes. Clearly they have something in the works. So I'm going to keep up with this game. I'm going to follow up with it. If you enjoyed it, let me know by leaving a like. I mean, you, you already know what you gotta do. Comment down below if anybody knows what I'm supposed to answer for the meaning of life. I wanna see, I wanna know what the answer is, number one, but I also wanna see what he'll say if you get it right. If you wanna see my last video, which was a little game called Point Click Killer, I did acts one and two of that. That'll be linked somewhere around here. And I'll also let YouTube decide what you guys should also watch next. That'll also be linked 
somewhere around here. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big body out. Are you a doppelganger? Am I a doppelganger? Who can I trust?